If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Clash. I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Bret the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. champion. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become U.S. champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! This should be good. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week get lucky by winning a battle royal and then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth because you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't heard that one before. I've been at this for 20 years now. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring, night after night. And what have you been doing? Wrestling one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym? So you have no right to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase, because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. What do you have? Oh, that's right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our US title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you? The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in-ring test. No match against you will ever be a test, but please, continue. <laughs> okay. If you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man match. We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here, next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. One looking to defend, the other looking to take away the crown. This is going to be great. The f 
following contest is an Iron Man match and is for the United States Championship. That music can mean only one thing, it's Buzz! Buzz was a three-sport athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing upwards. Introducing the challenger from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 252 pounds, Young Blood Steven Jackson. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Bobby Roode. Don't move, don't speak, don't even blink. Tonight, two men set out to prove who can outlast the other in a grueling Iron Man match for the U.S. title. Yeah, a lot. He's got the shoulders down. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Might have slipped there, Bull. He's calling for it. Don't you dare get up, man. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. 